Dear friends, today I am discussing an interesting topic, international proverbs. So what is a proverb? Proverb carry deep meaning and provide very well insights into the human experience. They serve as a bridge between generations, helping to transmit wisdom, values and knowledge from the past to the present and future. Proverbs are a simple way of expressing a well-known truth imbued with ancestral wisdom passed down from generation to generation until they become part of a society's oral tradition. Here I am briefly discussing 12 international proverbs or sayings which are words of wisdom. Number one, Canadian proverb, some pursue happiness, other create it. This proverb encourages the idea that happiness is not solely dependent on external circumstances. It means that individuals have the capacity to shape their own happiness through their mindset, choices and actions. It emphasizes that individuals can cultivate a fulfilling and joyful life for themselves rather than waiting for some external forces. Number two, don't put all your eggs in one basket. This is an American proverb which advises against concentrating all your resources, all efforts in a single venture or investment. The idea behind this is risk management and diversification. If you place all your eggs, means resources or investments in one basket, one area or one venture, you are vulnerable to significant losses if that particular area or venture fails. Diversifying your investments or spreading your efforts across different areas can help mitigate risk. Number three, when Rome, do as the Romans do. This is an English proverb which means that when you are in a foreign country or a new environment, you should adopt the customs and behaviors of the people in that place. In other words, it suggests leaving all judgments behind and adapting to the local culture and following the accepted norms and practices of the community you are in. It is a reminder to be open-minded observant and willing to embrace the traditions and social norms of the place you are visiting or living in. Number four, you can't judge a book by its cover. This is a French proverb which means that one should not form an opinion or make assumptions about someone or something based solely on their outward appearance. The words book and cover suggest that the true value or character of a person or things is not immediately apparent from their external features. It encourages people to look beyond surface appearances and superficial judgments. It implies that a person's real qualities, abilities or characteristics may not be evident at first glance and that one should take some time before forming an opinion. Don't leave for tomorrow what which you can do today. This fifth proverb is a Spanish proverb conveying the idea that one should not procrastinate or delay tasks that can be completed immediately. In, it encourages prompt action and a proactive approach to handling responsibilities. Tackling tasks promptly is a way to avoid accumulating a backlog of work and potential and potential stress. It promotes efficiency, productivity and a sense of responsibility. Number six, keep your mouth shut and your ears open. This is an Italian proverb emphasizing the importance of listening more than speaking. It advises someone to be observant, attentive and to listen actively rather than 
talking excessively. The idea behind this impression is that by keeping quiet and being receptive to what others are saying, you can gain valuable insights, information and understanding. Number seven, a drop of wisdom is better than a sea of gold. This is a Greek poem emphasizing the value of wisdom over material wealth. It suggests that even a small amount of wisdom or knowledge holds greater worth than possessing vast riches. The comparison between a drop of wisdom and a sea of gold expresses the idea that the quality of understanding and insight is more significant than sheer abundance of material possessions. Number eight, God gives the wheat, he doesn't bake the bread. This is an Austrian proverb emphasizing the concept that while there are external forces or higher powers that may provide opportunities or resources symbolized by the wheat, it is the responsibility of individuals to take those resources and actively shape them into something useful or beneficial symbolizing baking the bread. In a general sense, this proverb encourages self-reliance, personal responsibility and the idea that individuals have a role in making the most of the opportunities or resources available to them. Number nine, patience and hard work will grind everything. This is an, a Russian proverb explaining the importance of perseverance, patience and diligent effort in achieving personal development and success. It conveys the idea that with time, persistence and hard work, one can overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. Number 10, the only free cheese is in the mouse trap. This is a Dutch proverb which suggests that there is often a catch or a hidden cost associated with things that appear to be free. In other words, it's a cautionary statement warning against the allure of something seemingly offered at low cost. This saying implies that one should be skeptical of offers that appear too good to be true, as there might be a hidden agenda or downside. Number 11, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This is a Chinese proverb which conveys the idea that even the longest and most challenging journey starts with a small initial action. It emphasizes the significance of taking that first step towards a goal. No matter, matter how daunting or distant the ultimate destination may seem. Overall, it is a motivational statement that encourages people to start their endeavor and work consistently toward their goals. Number 12, he who rests grows rusty. This is a German proverb suggesting that inactivity or idleness leads to a decline in skills or abilities, like developing of rust on a metal surface that is not in use. This proverb means that continuous effort, learning and activity are essential for maintaining one's skill, knowledge and overall well-being. Stagnation or complacency can be detrimental and individuals should remain active and engaged to prevent a decline in their capabilities. The importance of proverbs cannot be underestimated in our self-development. They contain cultural wisdom, moral and ethical guidance, education and learning, reflection of human experience and an effective way of social bonding. Please try to learn something from this valuable wisdom containing tips. My dear friends, that's all for today. I wish you all a happy, healthy and successful life. We will meet again with some other topic of interest. Please subscribe my channel. Also favor me with your views or comments on this video and click the like button if you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching. We will meet soon with some other interesting topic. Thank you once again.